Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Predictions by Ryan. Crack open a cold one, it's time for PBR. Today we are taking a look at Victory Road uh, Impact Wrestling's event taking place tomorrow night, courtesy of Impact Plus. Uh, let's start with what I think will be the uh, pre-show match, if there is one. Uh, this is going to be Taylor Wilde versus Tennille Dashwood, uh, being accompanied, of course, by Caleb with a K. Um, the heels have been getting over a lot in this feud as of late, uh, so I will predict that Taylor Wilde uh, will we'll get the win here. This will also um, kind of platform her um, into potentially the next opponent uh, for the Queen Diana Perrazzo. Um, next match is a triple threat match between uh, Steve Macklin, PD Williams, and TJP. Uh, Steve Macklin's going to get the win here. Uh, his promos have been great. His vignettes have been great. Um, the in-ring is there. I don't think he's had a loss yet either. Um, so... It, it it just makes sense. And then the late addition of TJP into this storyline, um, after only being back for a couple of weeks, is I don't think enough to kind of platform this uh, into a TJP victory. So Steve Macklin uh, will get the win here. Uh, moving on to the no disqualification match. That'll be uh, Matt Cardona with Chelsea Green. Uh, taking on the Desi Hit Squad, uh, Rohit Raju being accompanied by uh, the last ring kicking world heavyweight champion, Mahabali Shara. Um, I am so ready for this feud to be over. Um, I don't think it's getting any traction. Um, just seeing these four interact on a week to week basis. So that's why I will predict that Matt Cardona gets the win. Um, it's a no disqualification match, so I feel like um, shenanigans will happen throughout. Uh, both Chelsea Green and Mahabali Shara will get involved. Um, but in the end, the former GCW World Champion, Matt Cardona, will get the win. Uh, tag team match. It's going to be Finn Juice, that is David Finley and Juice Robinson, taking on the Bullet Club that will be Chris Bay and Hikuleo, who just weeks ago uh, made his Impact Wrestling debut. Um, I don't think that Juice Robinson is 100% either um, from what I read earlier today. Um, so this could be an out uh, for them to eat the loss here. Um, and you do not want to make new Bullet Club member Chris Bay or recently debuted Hikuleo to look bad. Um, so I think Bullet Club will get the win here. Um, I think it'll be a fun little match. Chris Bay makes anybody look good that he's in the ring with. Um, and hopefully it'll give um, Finn Juice a break from uh, TV tapings. Another tag match. This thing is littered with tag matches. Um, now that I'm kind of looking at this a little closer. Uh, we have Moose uh, teaming up with W. Morrissey. Uh, that uh, coalition uh, has uh, is fresh in our minds. Taking on the slapped together team of Eddie Edwards and Sammy Callahan. Um, those two have been going back and forth. Um, Eddie Edwards saving Sammy from um, an attack from Moose. Um, and this was actually just made, uh, this past week on impact. Uh, I still think that we're going to make W Morrissey and Moose look really good here. Uh, I think at some point, Sammy Callahan will bail on this match, setting up another Eddie Edwards, Sammy Callahan match. I think this is just too good to be true. Uh, W Morrissey and Moose are the two top heels. Um, I think other than somebody we'll get to here in a little bit. Um, but yeah, th this is going to be a great tag match. Uh, even though n none of these four are really a tag team. Um, so prediction is going to be Moose and W. Morrissey getting the win here, uh, by hook or by crook. Um, starting with our four, our four title matches 
on this evening. We'll start with the um, Knockouts Tag Team Championship match between Decay, that is Havoc and Rosemary, taking on the team of Tasha Steeles and Savannah Evans. Um, Savannah Evans and Tasha Steeles have been getting the one up over uh, Decay over the past few weeks, and they are faces. Decay are now faces. Um, if you have heard um, the Impact Wrestling crowd at the weekly shows, they are crazy for Decay. Um, I didn't think they were going to lose these either way. Um, even though Savannah Evans is a debut, it's kind of her debut. Uh, she's been involved in a lot of beatdowns. Um, but Decay are going to retain here. Um I don't think that Savannah Evans and Tasha Steeles are credible opponents for them. Um, Tasha Steeles obviously coming off of her split with Kiara Hogan. Um, I think we'll still uh, get this feud for a little while. Uh, second tag team title match. This is for um, the Impact Tag Team Championships. It's the team of Rich Swan and Willie Mack um, taking on the Good Brothers. The defending champions Carl Anderson and Doc Gallows. There is no reason at this point to take the titles off of the Good Brothers. I think Rich Swan and Willie Mack are a good adversary for them. I think they should. I think just with the elite being on top of the American wrestling world, um, I think this is screaming Good Good Brothers all all the way. Um. Impact X Division Championship match. Uh, this is going to be match of the night. Just spoiler alert. Um, it's Josh Alexander defending against Chris Saban. Um, I do want to note uh, we met Josh Alexander when we went to um, Next Generation Wrestling Tennessee's Uncivil War Six. Uh, he had an absolute classic with Davy Richards, um, and Josh Alexander is just the nicest guy. Um, total 180 from his actual in-ring self, um, which is incredible. Uh, but Josh Alexander's retaining here. All right, the King of the Mountain is keeping the title. Um, but God, this is going to be really good. Um, Chris Saban doesn't seem to have lost a step um, here in his later years. Um, there's, there's no reason for Josh Alexander to uh, drop the title. Although... Um, it could play into a uh, storyline down the road where Josh Alexander, uh, uses, um, his, um, his option C here to challenge the champion, um, which will either be Christian Cage or Ace Austin by the end of the evening. I'm so torn on this because I, there, there's no reason for Christian Cage to drop the title, but at the same time. I think that Ace Austin would be better for the company to win the title. Um, although, if if my fan fiction is correct here, Josh Alexander will use his option C um, for a match against Christian Cage, and then he will be the Impact World Champion. I think that is a possibility. Um, my heart says Ace Austin because Ace Austin is one of the top young talents um, that we watch on TV every week. Um, but my head is with AEW contracted <laughs> Impact World Champion Christian Cage. Um, ju just having these, um, uh, these AEW guys hang on to the titles, that still kind of keeps the relationship open, I think. Um, because other than Christian Cage and the Good Brothers, which are Impact guys anyway, but they're on AEW every week, um, there's nobody in Impact right now that is an AEW person. Um, and Christian Cage being on AEW programming every week, uh, getting that Impact World Championship exposure, um, I think that's good for everyone. So... Um, long and short of it, the last two matches here, uh, Josh Alexander will retain the X Division Championship, and Christian Cage will retain, unfortunately, <laughs> against Ace Austin. Um, so that is it 
uh, for Victory Road, guys. Let us know in the comments below what you're looking forward to, what you're not looking forward to. Um, let us let us know what I'm what I'm gonna get right, what I'm gonna get wrong, um, and then. After you comment, you like, you share, um, give us a subscribe. Guys, we're putting a lot of great content out right now. Um, all of our social media links are in the description below. Um, PWO WrestleCast, the premier professional wrestling podcast, every Monday night, 7 p.m. live on Facebook. Go check us out there. Um, and I think it is time to polish this one off here, guys. Again, appreciate you watching. Appreciate you having a, a good old PBR with, with me here. Um, and, in, and enjoy Victory Road, guys. Uh, take care.